we are impressed. You are worthy to be the Emperor's wrath. You've got to the count of three to explain yourself. We are your ally, friend. Look on me. I am Servant One. This is Servant Two. We are the Emperor's hand. The Dark Council runs blind. We alone oversee the Emperor's will in the galaxy. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We sampled the Wrath some time ago. The Emperor tasks the Hand with a great undertaking, and you are to become his Wrath. Darth Barriss seizes power against the Emperor's wishes. He must be stopped. All of my resources are dedicated to Barriss's destruction. The Betrayer has motivated the Wrath. Since the Treaty of Coruscant, the Emperor has withdrawn from the known galaxy, preparing for a great calling. Varus learned of this and now claims the Emperor speaks through him. If the Dark Council declares him the voice of the Emperor, he will have supreme power over the Empire. Why would the Dark Council give Varus that power? The Ring of the Sith is tarnished. The Dark Council has been waiting for word from the Voice. Many are desperate for it to speak again. But the true Voice has been silent. And in its absence there is nothing to deny Barriss's claim. Some on the Council truly believe. Others see an advantage in supporting him. And Barriss plots against those who oppose him. Am I to defend those who defy him? Eventually. The wrath must build before reaching pitch. Your crew awaits you at your ship. They have been informed of these developments. Varus means to force the Council to bow, but he believes you to be dead. That is our advantage. Return to your ship, and we will advise you what can be done to thwart him. Wrath. Your first opportunity to tear down what Barris creates is on Belsavis, a planet that was hidden from the Empire until recently. We are sending coordinates, and will advise you when you've arrived. My lord, when Servant One contacted the ship in your absence, I didn't know what to make of it. So it's true. You've been chosen as the Emperor's Wrath. And we now fight against Darth Barris. Didn't care for old man Barris anyway. You have maneuvered even closer to the heart of the Empire. Great strides can be made. I don't know. Those hand weirdos kind of creep me out. You sure you want to sign up for this? Don't worry, Vet. I won't be caught off guard again. My eyes will be open. Yeah, mine too. Even while I'm sleeping. My lord, the ship is ready for departure. I'll await your word. I have docked with the Belsavis space station. Roth, Belsavis has been the Republic's best kept secret, hidden even from the hand. The disappeared reappear. The planet has been a prison for the galaxy's most dangerous criminals and many presumed dead Sith agents. It houses the blood of the betrayer. What is Barris doing on this planet? It was Servant Two who realized what was happening on Belsavis. When the prison manifests were leaked, Barris discovered that Darth Ekkage, his sister, was alive and imprisoned there. The blood of the betrayer. Darth Ekkage was a member of the Dark Council and leader of the Sith infiltrators. If she is reunited with Barris, many more will bow to him. Not if I can help it. The betrayer's blood must be spilled. To crack the door to Belsavis, the Emperor has directed the Guardsmen to coordinate extractions from the prison planet. A clever cover. Get authorization to shuttle to the surface and compel the Imperials to reveal Barriss's agents. Stop them from releasing Darth Ekkage. I seek information about a mission to break out Darth Ekkage and her assassins. That's Lord Melikoth's mission. He and his team have been permitted to venture deep within the Belsavis prison. The order came directly from Darth Barris, and you don't have clearance to know more. 
The Lord will tell me if you won't. My Lord, wait. I believe it is my duty to aid in any way I can. Stand down, Captain O'Clart. I will not, my Lord. Lord Melacost invaded the prison this morning with a squadron of commandos. He's placed them throughout this level of the prison to cover his descent and to secure the area for his exit. What is his destination? We don't know exactly where Melacost is headed, my lord, but Lieutenant Cade, the leader of his commandos, might. Trouble is, Cade's men stationed in this sector will report any activity. If you're unwelcome, they'll warn him and Melacost. Let me handle that dilemma. And what do you think that means, Captain? You've just signed a death warrant for your fellow soldiers. That's treason. I'm reporting you both to high command. Darth Barris will know what has transpired here. It will burn in his brain. Uh, excuse me, but... Are, are you sure you want to do that? I mean, if High Command finds out about this... Oh, I see. This is about the court-martial hearing you have coming up. You're gonna burn for this. Sith, you... <sighs> You're not going to just leave with her leveling such threats, are you? Your mission will suffer. I'll manage. You're on your own, Captain. Men. Take Captain Oclart into custody. That did not go as I'd hoped. That snake tried to use you to save his skin. I'm glad you were beyond his manipulations. If you are intent on warring with Lord Melikost, I'll stay out of it. However, I cannot sit idly by as Imperials are slaughtered. But you do what you have to do. And may the stronger survive.